Hey there, this is Elena from Studio Denmark, and I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use my new product called InstaFlow, which is available on Creative Market. Okay, so when you first open the folder that comes with your download, this is what you will see. Um, we've got a folder for the florals, geometric flame, uh, <laughs> frames, glitter, gold paint, and the watercolors. And all of these are pretty self-explanatory. They are just uh, PNG images, and in the case of the florals and the geometric frames, you've also got AI and uh, EPS because they, um, they are vectors. Um, and all of these uh, are meant to work together really seamlessly um, so that you can create not just Instagram uh, posts but pretty much anything that your heart desires, uh, wedding invitations or anything of that sort. Um, these, are, these are just great for anything like that. So it's not only for Instagram. However, um, when you go into the Instagram folder you'll see that there are some really great templates for Instagram in here, which I will show you how to use now. So that I've got, um, I've got these two folders here, individual posts without text and with text. And what I've done here is for all the people who do not have Photoshop, I have exported each square as a PNG file. And in here you've got the text in case you like what I've written. Um, if you want to put on your own text, I've made a folder of all of these squares with no text. And these are PNG files with a uh, transparent background. So you can take them and into whatever graphics program that you use, and you can put them either on top or below your own photos um, in whatever configuration that you want. And so I've tried to add the, the, the transparent background on these so that you can have as much flexibility as you want. You can still put things below or on top without having to use Photoshop. So for the people who do have Photoshop, um, first of all, I've got this bonus blank template, um, which is uh, if you want to start completely from uh, scratch, you can use this, and you'll see that uh, there are different slices, um, which equal up to 21 of them, and these are basically uh, a way to slice up an image into 21 pieces, but you can put whatever you want across the entire image so that when you get the images, the separate images, they will line up so that you can post them on Instagram, um, one at a time and yet once they get up onto your feed they all match each other beautifully so I'll show you more about that in a moment here um, but that's the blank template that makes it easy for you to just uh, you know go in there and start something from scratch this one is the template that I have made for you you can see it here and so um, with all these different slices we've got 24 different posts and they all blend together beautifully and they look great on their own as well um, so to explain, I will explain you how to, uh, how to export them in a moment, but first I'm just going to show you what these, how I've organized the file. Um, so basically I've put everything in different folders here, um, and the text is on top of everything because of course you will want that to stand out. You want to make sure that before you edit the text in this file, you want to go ahead and install the fonts which are used in this file and all of them are free for commercial use and in your PDF file that has come with your download you'll find links for all of them um, so you'll just need to before you can go and edit any of this text you'll need to go in and uh, install those fonts and if you need help installing a font if you're not sure how to do that you can just send me a message and I'll be very happy to help you with that um, and if you want to change the text anywhere here uh, rather than trying to navigate through this folder um, it's very easy to just select the text tool over here or to just hit T on your keyboard and then you'll just go to whichever post you want to edit and then tap the text tool on that text and then you just type in whatever you whatever you want to type there. Um, these photos that I've used in here are also free for commercial use and in your download I will also give you a link to where you can download the high-res high version of all of these. Um, I'll just show you what that looks like. So I've made a folder on Upsplash, which is this really great website full of, of photos that you can use commercially that are free. Um, so this is where you can get them. Now you can change the photos to your own or to other stock images, um, anything that you want really. And once again, they're probably easier than navigating through the layers. All you do is just make sure you've got this tool selected and then you tap on whatever photo that you want to change. And then you can see it's selected over here in your layers palette. So all of the photos are smart objects, um, which make it really easy for you to replace them. So just when you found the photo that you want to replace, you tap it there, uh, then you find it over here in the layers palette and double click. And so there's the photo right there. Um, so let's say you want to add a different photo. 
let's say you want to add this one you just drag and drop it in to Photoshop. Now you can see it's a completely different dimension, like it has different dimensions than, than this um, smart object. Um, and you can just resize however you want to. I'm holding shift down so that it keeps the same dimensions. It doesn't go all weird. Um, you can, you know, you can use like, you can, you can um, resize it, reposition it however you want. And once you have a photo in the smart object, all you have to do is uh, Control or Command Save, or S, in order to save it. And then when you go back to the template, you can see that the photo has been changed. Um, I've added, I've given you um, something extra with this, because you can see this photo looks a bit dark compared to the other ones. And I've used an action on all of these photos that helps them to look cohesive, because I really like the photos on Instagram that I post to be um, really cohesive with uh, each other as far as the colors and the lighting. Um, and I've included an action that will help you do that. Um, in the in the folder, so it's in this Instagram folder, and it's this one called InstaFlow Color Match. And you can load it in Photoshop once you've got your Actions palette open. And if you don't see this over here, you can just go to Window Actions, and then that this this will open up over here. And then once you've got this open, go to this menu here, and then go to Load Actions, and then you just find where we've saved this ATN file that I've provided. So um, this, this is a really, really simple um, action um, that will just change the colors to sort of match the rest of this document. So we just press play here, and then the colors are changed. And when you save that, control S, go back, you can see that it looks much more cohesive with the rest of it. Um, and something to note is that this action does not work unless if you have changed the name of this template. So if, if you have changed it to your, if you've renamed it, um, just make sure that you have the original open in Photoshop because otherwise the action won't work. And I also just wanted to show you exactly what the action is doing in case you want to modify it and um, you know make, make the settings a bit different. It's up here, image, adjustments, match color. And um, the source is, it has to be a, a file that's open in Photoshop. So I'm just gonna choose InstaFlow template. So that's why you can't change the name for the action to work. Um, and then uh, select colors. And I'll show you, this is actually a layer. I'll show you real quick. This is actually a layer that is in the template down here at the bottom, which I've turned off. But um, it's basically just a, a version of this without any photos in it so that we can just grab the colors. But basically um, it's adjustments match color. So choose the template and then that the layer and you can do this with anything so if you want if you have a photo that represents your brand um, you can open that in Photoshop and you can use that and then match all of your other photos to those colors so this is really useful for Instagram um, but the the settings that I've included was is just a luminance uh, 100 and the color range is 75 and fade 37 and then neutralize and you can you can change this um, however you want by following these steps. So um, yeah, that's just a, on the side, that's just a little tip about how to, how to uh, make your colors match each other across your Instagram feed. So anyway, that is how you add in your photos. And I just wanted to show you one more thing with these circle photos. Um, I'm going to tap on that and double click. Um, when you add these ones in, so when you add it in, it's going to look like this. It's not going to be a circle. And in order to make it conform to that circle shape, all you have to do is just click on the photo that you've dragged in, hit Alt on your keyboard, and then drag your mouse down until you see that arrow and tap. And that's it. Um, to, that's just a clipping mask that makes it into a circle. Um, so that is how you add the photos in. And the way that I've organized these um, layers is that we have the text on top, then we have photos above and basically everything else the watercolors and all that, and photos below. So there's two photos folders. And that is because some of these you'll see are below, like let's take, let's take, okay, let's take this one here. You'll see that this photo right here is above the watercolor and it's above this gold. It's above everything except the text because the text is the very highest uh, group of, layer, of layers. Um, however, this photo here, 
you'll notice is below the watercolor, you've got this nice sort of watercolor line on top of it, you've got the gold and the glitter on top of it. And that is because it's not in photos above, it's in, let's tab it, you see it's in photos below. So this is a, a really uh, easy way for you to be able to control which photos are sort of in the background behind the graphic elements and which ones are standing out on top of everything else. And if you want to switch, if you want this to be behind uh, the watercolor, for instance, you can just take it and drag it into photos below. And then you can see it's behind the watercolor. I don't really like the way that looks, so that's why I put it above. But you can, you can really just alter this however you want to. And now for the magic bit about how you can export all of these into separate images that you can post one by one on Instagram. Um, it's really, really easy. All you, once you've got these slices in here that I've already put into the, uh, I've already put into the document for you, you just have to go up to File and Export and Save for Web. And you will get a little dialog that opens up. You just want to make sure that you've got PNG selected as the type or JPEG, either one. And um, then you want to hit save, and you'll be able to choose where you save them. And there's two options down here. There's all slices, or all user slices, or selected slices. So if you do all slices, basically this is going to export, I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, it's going to export each and every square from the document. And you might want to do this if you're doing 21 posts uh, planned ahead of time and you already know what you want all of this to say and what all the photos are going to be, then that is a good option for you. Um, however, if you're going one by one day to day, um, if you're sort of changing changing the images with your mood, um, you'll want to do selected slices. And I'll just show you how to select a slice really quick. Let's get out of that. Okay, so over here you will have the slice uh, select tool. And if that one that one is connected to the crop tool, so you, you will probably see this crop tool. If you just right click on that, you'll be able to go to the slice select tool. So once that tool is selected, you can just go to the square. Let's say we want to do this square and you just tap it. And then you can see these that it's uh, been selected. So then when we do the, the export safer web, and it's, you will do uh, select selected slices, it's only going to export that one square that you selected. So that comes in handy if you don't want to do everything at once uh, every single time that you export. So basically that's all you do. You just hit save and then wherever you have saved them, you will have the images here. And you can upload them in order on, um, on Instagram or not in order, whatever you choose. They look good either way. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I do that. I use an app called later.com and I just I like it basically because it's free but there's a lot of apps that do this there's another one called preview um, and basically it's, it allows you to sort of see uh, see everything before you post it so that you can make sure it looks good together but basically you just want to upload them in backwards order but um, here on this later app I'm just going to show you what it looks like so here I'm just going to select all of these um, and I've already posted um, all of those so I'm going to select the ones I haven't posted yet and drag and drop them into the app on my computer here. Um, you, can, you can download this app to your phone and you can also do it on the computer. So that's another reason why I like it because I can upload photos from the computer directly. And then I can see it on my phone, I can see it on my iPad and on my, my Mac or PC, whatever you use. So I've got all these uploaded now over here in the media and um, you can upload up to 30 posts uh, at once on here, which is really nice. So basically, You'll just want to go ahead and start dragging these in on the day that you want to do it. And if you're a business, you can even auto post, but um, you can also just have a notification sent to you. Um, and you can write your caption. You can save uh, different hashtag captions. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of these up here so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I have uploaded, I have um, scheduled some posts with these. And I'm going to go back to preview mode to see what it looks like on the feed. So, so far so good. Everything is sort of blending in nicely together. And we do appear to have a bit of a problem here. So you can see that somehow this one ended up up here when it should have been down here. Um, so I, all you have to do in preview mode is just take it and drag it. And then you can see that everything matches up again. So um, this is just a really easy way for you to plan out your feed. And there you have it. Thanks so much for your purchase and please let me know if there's anything else that I can help with. Thanks.